A very good morning. It is Fabio and welcome back to another Daily Market Outlook. And we are diving into EURUSD gold and the other major dollar pairs. So EURUSD itself has obviously pushed in towards the highs once again in line with the overall news which came out yesterday and obviously the overall trend. So as you guys know, I had this low over here. We've pulled back in towards the 0.5 and from here we have continued our move upwards. Now, there was an area of daily supply obviously here which was causing the market to stall and not, let's say, continue its upward move. However, we have now broken that area of supply and second of all, also focusing on market structure, very simply said, we've now seen a market structure shift due to a break of the fractal high over here. So we've now broken the high, indicating to me that we are now looking for further upside on Euro USD. Okay, so just going into the news real quick, they cut rates yesterday. Okay, so that means that the dollar is now likely going to continue to be bearish. It was a bigger rate cut than forecasted, and this is most often seen as an indicator that there's a potential recession coming, even though the Fed and the Federal Reserve is saying, no, there is not a recession coming. It is often kind of like an early sign that there could be a recession coming. So this could indicate that EURUSD is ready to continue its move further in towards the upside in line with the fact that we're coming from one an area of daily demand two we have bullish structure we pulled back in towards that 618 slash 0.5 fib retracement level and we've now seen a bullish change of character so there's a lot of till signs or signs whatever you want to call them that your usd is ready to continue its next leg up now going into the four hour time frame the four hour is just extremely messy I am not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of trading this at the moment. This massive wick up has really kind of, uh, let's say, played with the market structure. Overall, what I'm looking for at the moment is to see if we can get in on any longing opportunities. I'll just be focusing on the fact that the one hour structure has now shifted here. This is now pretty much the demand zone that is in control, this sell before the buy. So let's see if we can follow order flow further in towards the upside, not focusing too much on the four hour, because if we wait for the four hour, we're gonna have to wait all the way for this wick over here to break. So not too much focused on that for now. What happened is that we also swipe liquidity underneath this low. So if you're in my live streams inside Discord, make sure to join. You can very well understand that this is a leg up. And in that leg up, we kind of have like this little bump in the road. And underneath these bumps in the road, that is where liquidity lies. And that's why you also see kind of like this spike in towards there. So overall, still looking for further upside. I'm just gonna follow the daily because the four hour is slightly unclear. And then based on the daily, I am gonna be looking for some further upside on EURUSD in line with the overall uh, yeah, fundamentals in my opinion. So zooming out, obviously we can just quickly go into the weekly time frame, and then I'll be looking at 112.758 as a potential next target. So going from EURUSD into the dollar index, the dollar index, and I'm gonna keep it extremely simple, not make it too detailed. The dollar index, if we go into the four hour time frame, swiped liquidity underneath the blue line, which we were waiting to see all week. Um, so yeah, again, trend lines, in my opinion, I don't really like using them, but you can very clearly see a one, two, three. And then you see obviously kind of like this initial baby reaction, all the trend line uh, yeah, traders going long and then obviously here just stopping them all out. Of course, guys, it is news as well uh, playing its part. So don't start uh, shouting in my DMs. I get enough death threats from people who trade in a different way. Um, just look at this. Okay, we have clear liquidation. So what I now want to see, again, I expect your USD to push up and fundamentally it would make sense for the dollar to push down lower um, in towards, uh, let's say the lows and especially this swing low over here, for example, at let's say around 99.578. And as well, if you zoom out into the weekly time frame, we also have a fresh area of demand over here. But for that, I would like to see on a technical perspective, the structure shift as well, because now it seems that this demand zone here is in control. Uh, if we can break that 100 to 14 level uh, or 100 and 200, yeah, so 100, 200 level, then um, we break this low over here and uh, yeah, it would be easier to start looking for those shorts back down and towards around 99.578. So that is a dollar index, um, not looking too much for longs at the moment. Now going onwards into AUDUSD. 
So AUDUSD itself has been pushing up higher. As you guys all know, I was never interested in shorts. What has happened is that we've seen a bullish change of character. We broke the high over here. And after that, we continued pretty much our route up higher. So very simply said, guys, overall here on Aussie dollar, what I was looking for was after this bullish change of character, again, continuation in towards the upside. And that is now what we're getting. Looking at the four hour time frame, remember, no shorts available, because despite this being our area of supply over here, and a lot of people being interested in shorts, what you then do is you go into the four hour time frame and you look if the market is ready to confirm any potential move down lower. So what you then see on the four hour time frame is that the market just pushes up, pulls back, pulls up, pulls back, pulls up, pulls back. And then again, this is just simply a liquidity swipe. You can see there's not even a candle close below that fractal low over here, just purely liquidity getting swiped. And then again, a continuation, which we're now seeing in towards the upside. So the overall trend on Aussie dollar just remains bullish in towards the highs. And I will continue to look for longs. And I'm going to be trading this up in towards around 0.69. That is my next target, a very clear liquidity high, because as we can see, we have this high, this high, and these highs as well, all trying to take out that high. So a lot of stops are placed above here. So that is my next target for Aussie dollar, just following the overall yeah, order flow. So go to the four hour time frame and then look to trade in line with the order flow. Obviously, we now have these ugly wicks on these US dollar pairs. But for now, I'll just be focusing on this demand zone, for example, or even this imbalance over here. Okay, so that is Aussie dollar, very simply said. Now moving into GBPUSD. So pound dollar, what has been happening there as well, a fractal structure shift in towards the highs, it looks ready to just continue its move up higher. Again, fractal break here. So what I'm now looking for is to see did we swipe the high? No, we did not yet. So as you can see over here, we did not yet swipe that high of 1.32987. So I'll be looking to yeah, take liquidity above there and uh, yeah, just follow the overall trend in towards the upside because as we can see, the daily is still bullish. We are still creating higher highs and higher lows, higher high, higher high, higher high higher low, higher low, where do we expect a new higher low to form? We expect it to form inside demand, sell before a massive buy. Therefore, this is your order flow. You see tap in, move straight back out again. Then what do we see if we look at the individual candlesticks? We see our bullish confirmation. What is the bullish confirmation? A market structure shift. So what do we have here? We have a break in market structure. Therefore, I am now looking for further upside as well from GBP USD. So uh, yeah, just following the overall trend further in towards the highs, we were trading pretty much in between demand and supply, but we can very clearly see um, yeah, that demand is now in control and we're pushing up higher. So again, a very messy chart from my side, but that's just because all these pairs are looking so messy. If you even look at this, extremely messy. So I don't really see any direct entry opportunity. If I do, I'll let you know inside Discord, link in the description down below. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to be following this demand zone over here for now further in towards the upside. Going in towards NZD, USD and gold, what are we seeing there? So NZD, USD was actually the most beautiful pair of them all. Again, what you can very clearly see is that we had a structure shift over here. So break down, break up, we retest demand again, continue up higher, break up, break up. Now again, we're respecting the fractal low here. Where do we pull back into into this demand zone guys, it was so extremely clear in towards this demand zone. Again, if you have a hard time drawing in um, areas of demand or supply, use the 50% body candle indicator. And then I don't know why it's not turning on at the moment, but then what will happen is that these imbalances will turn white and those are areas of demand that you can look to trade potentially long from. Okay, so yeah, looking just for further upside on NZD USD, despite my target being hit, the structure is still bullish. Uh, the fractal structure, everything is still bullish. Therefore, I am just going to be continuously looking for further upside. Very simply said, once again, fractal low break, fractal high break. Therefore, the market is bullish. So for me, it makes sense now to target a new higher high and trade higher in towards this area of supply. OK, so um, yeah, that is ends the USD going in towards gold. Last of all, gold has been pushing down lower since yesterday, but is now actually pushing back up higher again. So 
as well um, with this interest rate decision, it makes sense for gold to push up higher. However, I do not have a lot of experience trading gold, I would say, in these kind of situations, because obviously you would say that we do have supply now in here, just speaking very logically, and um, we have a break, but fundamentally it would make more sense for gold to push up higher. Therefore, I'm keeping my hands off gold for now, um, and I'm not really interested in it. If I do see any potential trades, um, then I will let you know. For now, 50 minute order flow is just bullish, break here, break here. So again, it just makes sense to follow this up higher and higher as long as that trend uh, it just remains and continues. So that's it for today, guys. Um, if I see any interesting trades or opportunities, I'll let you know inside Discord. Thanks for joining once again. Have an amazing day and speak tomorrow on the live stream here on YouTube.